Okay, um, the PSU is fitted in the cupboard where it's going to live temporarily. Um, I'm probably going to put this uh, under the bench. And uh, I've been running it, and the, the fan, it's not running at the moment, but the fan is quite noisy. Um, I forgot to mention, by the way, the, uh, the 5 amp um, terminals, which is fairly standard on the majority of larger power supplies, at least. Um, yeah, so far so good. It, it, um, it's, it's quite good. I'm, I'm pleased that it's backlit. I never realised that the... Um, it would be backlit, the, the last power supply I had, which was a Manson uh, 25 amp power supply, wasn't, so uh, quite nice that it's backlit. How long they will last, I do not know if they are bulbs or uh, LEDs. I think the bulbs, actually. But hopefully uh, they'll last a while. Looks quite nice lit up. Um, I've got um, it connected to the... Uh, Good old reliable TS870, and now when we run the power supply, I'm getting my finger in the way of the. You have to excuse me. I'm very amateurish when it comes to doing these uh, videos. I'm I'm not a um, a YouTuber that has all the uh, finesse and uh, polish of, that some have. It's just one shot, no editing. I just haven't got the time or the patience for that matter. So. We're doing 100 watts now, over here on the Made From Junk uh, ATU. We're running into a dummy load, by the way. Yeah, we're there. Which, uh, on the old supply, it wouldn't do that. I forgot to mention earlier in my previous video, which I did an unboxing video. If you have a look at my channel, I haven't got that many videos, and... I I only put these things up to, to help people to make a decision, try and make a decision and you know anybody that's wondering how these things are supplied to you, um, how they're packaged and what they're like in terms of using, you know, everyday usage. Um, I'm not, uh, I don't go into great technical depth apart from anything else. There is a two year warranty with this uh, power supply. And uh, I don't wish to invalidate it, so there we go. Anyway, uh, I forgot to mention that it's uh, protection. It's got current limitation and short circuit protection as well. Which you don't always find that on power supplies, uh, especially on some of the cheaper switch mode ones. So uh, it's nice to have some sort of protection in there. So uh, going back up to the uh, power supply. Um been trying to find some feet to fit underneath these. In my previous video I showed you these, I think these are designed to make it look like a... These are the sort of thing, the sort of look that you had on hi-fi separates back in the 80s and 90s. You can still get all the hi-fi separates, obviously, but they were all the rage then. And it's that sort of a look, but all that is is a very flimsy bit of plastic, really. Very, very uh, fragile. I've been looking for feet to attach behind those. Uh, so that it doesn't move as much. It's a bit slippy on the front end because all it is is plastic, not rubberized. And I haven't got any uh, plastic feet that are the correct depth for the gap and to match the feet at the back. So we'll have to have a dig around in a jump box and see what we can find. But uh, yeah, it's very nice. It's um, I think. For a hundred pounds for a thirty amp supply, that's not too bad. You can pay an awful lot more. There's obviously some of the bigger brands like Diamond, um, I think Yesu. They seem generic. They, I don't know if they are internally, but they look like the same power supply. Um, when you see them, uh, they look very very similar. Uh, but that doesn't mean to say that they are the same on the inside in terms of how they've been uh, put together, circuitry etc. And uh, how they've been designed. But um, let's see if we can get this thing to uh, switch on so you can hear the uh, fan. Let's uh, give it some uh, welly. Yep, there you go. Didn't take much, did it? It's on now.
Oh yeah. That's the noise. That's in the seated position in the shack. Sounds like a small hair dryer, doesn't it? I found if I uh, if I close the door just a fraction, that limits it a little bit. But I always leave it ajar so that the uh, air can circulate. I think eventually what I'll do is I'll, I'll actually put it under the desk, under the bench. There's room underneath there to have a have a shelf. And the uh, being under the bench, it will uh, limit the noise a little. Uh, maybe I know there's a mod you, you can do. You can fit a new fan, but with it having a two-year warranty, I um, I don't think I'll be doing that just yet. <laughs> I won't be playing around with it so that I don't invalidate the warranty. Okay, so uh, I hope that helps anybody thinking about buying one of these things. Um, it helps to see how it's packaged and some of the, you know, initial thoughts and what the shortcomings are of these things. Um, long term, reliability, I can't tell, I tell you that. I can't tell you anything about that because I've only just got the thing. But um, if uh, if anything happens to it, if there are any issues, it having to be sent back because it stops working, I will certainly add... Uh, add uh, any changes uh, to the uh, description and the notes below this video and um, please check out the unboxing video if you want to have a look at an unboxing uh, just to see how it's packaged if nothing else uh, you can see for yourself then okay this is David M0 TWA I hope it's uh, helped you uh, goodbye for now